Welcome back to Mason Talk. So today I want to talk about how Super Bowl 53 could affect the Cleveland Browns. But first, I just wanted to say thank you to each and every one of my subscribers who helped me reach 1,000 subscribers on YouTube. Uh, that was a big milestone that I had been uh, working pretty hard to reach. And, you know, I'm very appreciative. Uh, thank you all for subscribing. And I'm going to continue to make more Browns content. And I hope that people continue to enjoy it. Uh, yeah, so thank you for helping me reach 1,000 subscribers. So Super Bowl 53, uh, I don't know if you noticed, does not involve the Cleveland Browns. It is the New England Patriots, who uh, I don't like, specifically because it's boring every time they go to the Super Bowl. It's They go so often that it's just boring now. Versus the young, the cool, the fresh, the up-and-coming Los Angeles Rams. I love the Rams. I mean, who doesn't want the Rams to win? The Rams are like the coolest team in football. You've got Sean McVay. Who could still be who could be a player? I mean, he's young enough to be a player. You've got Jared Goff, Cali guy, uh, cool. <laughs> he's got the coolness factor. Todd Gurley, best back in the NFL. Aaron Donald, best defensive player in the NFL. Ndama Kinsu. I keep forgetting that he's on their team, and then I see him, and I'm like, wait a minute, he was with the Lions for. 15 years however long he wasn't wasn't 15 years but I want the Rams to win they're way cooler than the Patriots uh but yeah the Patriots are gonna win the Super Bowl without a doubt in my mind they got the underdog thing going for them they're gonna win the Super Bowl but yeah Rams Patriots it's gonna be interesting but you might still be wondering how does this affect the Cleveland Browns well if the Patriots win the Super Bowl which I'm predicting they do uh every year for the past 15 years the NFL has started off their season with a Thursday night kickoff game featuring the previous Super Bowl champion. So if the Patriots were to win the Super Bowl, they would be hosting the first game of the 2019 NFL season. Now, the Patriots home games for 2019 include teams such as the Pittsburgh Steelers, the Dallas Cowboys, the New York Giants, the Buffalo Bills, the Miami Dolphins, the New York Jets, the Kansas City Chiefs, and the Cleveland Browns. Now, there's no uh, there's no specific formula as to how the NFL chooses uh, which team the Patriots will play, but uh, according to Ben Axelrod uh, uh, of the uh, story that I found this on on WKYC's website, uh, over the past 15 years that the Super Bowl has been kicking off the season, 13 of those 15 matchups have featured two teams from the same conference. So probably not going to be the Cowboys or Giants. So that would leave the Steelers, Bills, Dolphins, Jets, Chiefs, and Browns. And out of that list of teams, you're probably thinking, uh, obvious choice, the Kansas City Chiefs. Rematch of the AFC Championship game. Pat Mahomes, 50 touchdowns. They're really good. Whatever. It'd be the AFC Championship rematch. It seems like the obvious choice, right? Well, uh, you know, maybe they wouldn't want to do that. <laughs> uh, there's, I mean, yeah, it would be the obvious choice, of course. But last year, the Philadelphia Eagles, who were the Super Bowl champions... Uh, they played the Minnesota Vikings at home, and that would have been a rematch of the NFC Championship game, but they did not play that in Week 1. They played that later on in the season. So just because the Patriots have the Chiefs on their schedule does not mean they definitely will play them in Week 1. So let's say the NFL wants to keep that Pats-Chiefs game for later on in the season to build up hype, to you know create anticipation. You know It'll be a big game. It'll be a lot of hype built up for it. They want to keep it for later. They want to stash that one away. If you get rid of the Cowboys, get rid of the Giants, get rid of the Patriots, or not the Patriots, they're, you know, they're going to be there. If you get rid of you know Cowboys, Giants, Chiefs, I would say the next logical team would be the up-and-coming the controversial Cleveland Browns. You can't tell me that a storyline of defending Super Bowl champion, greatest player ever, 
Tom Brady going up against the new America team, Cleveland Browns, led by the most controversial quarterback in football, Baker Mayfield. You can't tell me that that would not be one of the most interesting kickoff games in recent memory. I mean, Tom, I mean, of course the Patriots are going to drive ratings, but just having Baker Mayfield, people care about Baker Mayfield. People love to hate Baker Mayfield. It's going to be interesting to see how the narrative surrounding the Cleveland Browns changes in the next few years from the punchline losers that everybody makes fun of to this team that not only will be competitive, I mean, the Browns are going to be a competitive team, but Baker Mayfield is going to be one of the more controversial quarterbacks in the league. I mean, the media, I feel like, is going to create a narrative where they just straight up hate Baker Mayfield because, you know, the media likes to go at Baker, but unlike other quarterbacks, Baker will go right back at the media. I mean, I think it was like yesterday, Tony Grossi said, he said something about, I think it was Kyler Murray, and uh, he shot, Baker Mayfield responded, uh, criticism right back at Tony Grossi. Like Baker, Baker's not afraid of going back and forth with the media. So, you know, there's going to be the, the, the media and the national audience is going to be interested in Baker Mayfield, like Baker Mayfield, having Baker Mayfield versus Tom Brady, their first meeting of their careers and, you know, possible last meeting of their careers. That would be one of the most interesting games, not only of week one, but of the entire season. The Browns are going to be one of the more intriguing teams of 2019. They've got a ton of up-and-coming uh, good young players. I mean, it's not just Baker Mayfield. Nick Chubb, people are going to want to see what Nick Chubb does in his second year. Miles Garrett, could he potentially be a uh, defensive player of the year candidate? Uh, you know, what does Jarvis Landry do? How is Antonio Callaway going to do? Uh, you know, the Browns aren't just interesting because of Baker Mayfield. I mean, Baker Mayfield's the, the main reason. But, like... The Browns are going to be an actual interesting team in 2019. And if you have them going up in week one against the defending Super Bowl champion Patriots, that would be one of the more interesting games of the year. And I definitely think that would push ratings. And, you know, if the, they're probably I have a strong feeling that the NFL is going to want to have the Patriots play the Chiefs in week one. Like, that's probably just what it's going to be. And that makes sense. I mean, AFC Championship rematch, you, you'd always pick that over anything else, basically. But if they do want to hold off the Chiefs-Patriots rematch, I, I don't see why you wouldn't want to have Baker Mayfield versus Tom Brady on primetime to start the season. I think that would be one of the more interesting games of the entire year. Uh, but yeah, so it all depends on if the Patriots can win the Super Bowl, which I think they would. But uh, let me know in the comments, what do you think would be the more interesting game? Chiefs-Patriots or Browns-Patriots? Pa uh, Browns because honestly, I think both of those games have their own reasons uh, that, they would, that they would be very entertaining games. But uh, yeah, so thanks for listening to the Mason Talk Sports Show, and I will see you in my next episode. Goodbye.